Today, we're going to take a look at some toys that have been made into your favorite punk and pop punk bands. Let's check it. If you're a fan of your favorite band, nine times out of ten says that you at least have one of their t-shirts. But some bands go that extra mile. And it made everything from the moderately strange like bath bombs and cookie jars to the bizarre and downright confusing like coffins and headphones for your cat. All licensed by the artist. Today we're going to look at the mildly strange, or what I consider mildly strange. With the different variants of toys that have come out over the years by different bands. Since I collect toys myself, I even have a few of these things sitting around the house that I've picked up over the years. And I'm always trying to expand my collection. I'm going to exclude toys like Funko Pops, even though I will mention them. Because if you're a popular band these days, there's a good chance that at some point, Funko will, or has already made, a version of you as a toy. With that said, let's get into our first band. The Misfits, or Misfits. Undoubtedly one of the most iconic punk bands, horror punk bands, as well as helped influence some of the most iconic bands in history. The Misfits have also been known to turn themselves into merchandise over the years. And while this band has also went down that cookie jar road of merchandising, they've also turned themselves into action figures, like the release through Reaction Toys. Reaction Toys has action figures from everything from music, popular movies, TV shows, and a bunch more. Kind of like Jaws and Back to the Future here. Well, they teamed up with Misfits, and you can actually still buy it on the Misfits website, for a bunch of different three and a half inch to four inch uh, vinyl figures, including uh, a Die Die My Darling, Inspired Fiend, a regular Fiend, a Jerry Only action figure, one from their Halloween EP, and a whole bunch more like ones that glow in the dark. They haven't stopped there. There's also 12 inch variants, Jerry Only and Doyle, which were the only ever produced. A lot of people suspected that Danzig was gonna be put out, but it never was. But these ones feature their signature devil locks and jackets and their makeup, as well as these NECA mini fiends, which were kind of placeholders as mascots from the band, rather than the band members themselves, even though they kind of embolize the members of the band. Of course, you know, you got Funko Pop. They also dropped out a Misfits Fiend uh, a couple years back. Next up is Blink-182. Spanky Stokes teamed up with Blink-182, which designed the minifigures, like uh, this one I just showed you, uh, for their comeback tour, which uh, I only opened this up, I think, once. As well as uh, these 3D sculptures, which depict the iconic Blink Bunny head with the uh, Arrowhead logo. The band also dropped a limited store run of their plushies, which is of the iconic Blink Bunny. And that's not, I can't find it online right now, except maybe like eBay. Uh, but every once in a while, their official merch shop will drop it here and there. Uh, maybe it'll come back around for the holidays. That would be awesome. Funko Pop also dropped a uh, Tra Sparker and Mark Hoppus of the Mark Hoppus one. Tom DeLonge and Matt Skiba of Alkaline Trio uh, didn't get a variant uh, through Funko Pop. However, Tom DeLong does have an Angels and Airwaves Poet Anderson Funko Pop figure. So that's the closest we have right now. Next up is Green Day, who has the Hot Topic exclusive American Idiot Vinyl 3-pack. I haven't picked this up yet, uh, but at some point I definitely want to. And uh, another one that I've been trying to find for years, I got this. This is by the Stevenson Entertainment Group, and it's the International Super Figures from the band's International Super Hits album. And there's a Billy, there's a Trey, and there's a Mike. I was only able to find the Billy Joe, and I remember finding this at Spencer's Gifts a long time ago. You can find it online right now. Uh, some of them are upwards of like 75 to $150 for just like one of these guys. Had I known then, I would have bought all three. I think they were only like 15 bucks at the time. But trying to find them is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, let me know below if you uh, know where to find these very cheaply because I'd really want one. Next up is Bowling for Soup. This isn't exactly an action figure, but I kind of consider it close enough. It's made by uh, Axe Haven, the mini guitar franchise series who um, takes popular custom guitars and um, turns them into many little things. They have done everyone from Event Sevenfold to Eddie Van Halen to uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan to Steve Vai. And they just so happened to, back in the day, put a Bowling for Soup Jarrett Reddick Ernie Ball custom guitar out, uh, which you can see here and here, and uh, that's also of Jarrett uh, holding it. Jumping back to Stevenson Entertainment Group slash Smitty, S-M-I-T-I. 
this was not just action figures, but an entire playset. And this was for the band The Offspring. I remember another Spencer's gift story is that uh, my brother's ex-girlfriend, um, Sam, really liked The Offspring and still likes The Offspring to this day. And uh, this came out and he got it um, for her for Christmas and it was like he bought her a damn engagement ring. It's just really cool that, that, a, that a band like that put uh, <laughs> put out a toy set, an entire toy set. I mean, this thing has, I mean, look at it. It has the stage, it has the band, it has the, the instruments. It's really awesome. Smitty, S-M-I-T-I, slash uh, Stevenson Entertainment Group, also put out a band series, which was the entire stage featuring uh, Kiss, Limp Bizkit, and uh, they even did one of No Doubt, which I really want to mention on here as well. Uh, they're also like a ska punk band, but uh, I thought the Offspring one was really, really uh, unique and cool. Up next is MXPX. Back to plushie toys. This uh, MXPX plushie toy came as part of a reward for their Kickstarter um, when they did a Kickstarter for their 10th studio album. If you donated $25 or more, you got a signed poster, a CD, the digital release early. I think there were bonus tracks involved, and you also got this limited edition run uh, MXPX Poconatcha Punk um, plushie. Uh, I'm a big MXPX fan. They dropped that. After the uh, Kickstarter was over, they also uh, had it for sale um, at a higher price on their um, on their website for a while. I think it's still on there. I know you can find it on eBay. Amazon has it. You can find stuff on the internet anywhere these days if you really look hard enough. Next up, of course, is the Ramones. Just as iconic, if not more iconic, than uh, the Misfits, uh, as formerly mentioned. They've also done everything over the years, from belt buckles to keychains to, I think, cookie jars? I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but they also have a ton of toys out, like this, in full band version, with instruments, uh, through Toxic Teddies. It's the band, but they look like little cute teddy bears, and I think they're like four inch vinyls. I don't have them, I really want them. They look really cool. I did see them at a thrift shop a long time ago for I think $12 and I should have picked them up because some of the prices online they're going for upwards of $60 for the full band without the packaging. Another one that came out was uh, through NECA Real Toys which are 12 inch uh, vinyl action figures and uh, there's this one of Jerry Ramone and Johnny Ramone versions uh, that have a hefty price tag of around $150. Uh, so if you want to cough that up and you're a huge Ramones fan or you have the money, you want to get that as an awesome gift for someone, it's also uh, an idea. Oh, and let's not forget that there's also a Funko Pop version of the band. The only one I don't have, I think, is Tommy. But they have uh, Joey, Johnny, and Dee Dee uh, of the Ramones out in Funko Pop series. Is, is, is. And uh, that's, that's really cool as well. I don't have those. I need to start getting on that. I think I just need to start a Funko Pop music collection starting with picking up Travis Barker, and then I'll move on to the Ramones. Speaking of an iconic punk band is the Sex Pistols. The Sex Pistols are another band that have dished out tons of stuff over the year. A couple things that they have are some cool toys, like like this McFarlane brand, never mind the Bullocks album cover. Uh, it's just the album cover. Um, I think it sits at like eight inches, nine inches, something like that. But it did that to uh, commemorate an anniversary for uh, the Nevermind the Bullocks album. Another one that came out is through uh, the company called Broker, B-R-O-K-K-E-R. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, maybe it's Broker. Uh, it's a Lego looking set of the entire band with all of their instruments uh, for the anniversary series. 30th anniversary series of, I don't remember, maybe it's uh, God Save the Queen. Speaking of anniversary series, is, 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 there's a Japan release, an import of the 30th anniversary of Nevermind the Bullocks uh, featuring Johnny Rotten and uh, Sid Vicious, actual action figures of them. I've seen this, uh, those figures in guitar centers and at Spencer's Gifts and from time to time Hot Topic will have them. You can find them online. Uh, you just have to look in the right place. FYE, I used to have them. The only thing I don't like about this is if you look close to Sid Vicious, he's, he's smiling. Why is he smiling? The, it wasn't his like signature smile that you see on t-shirts. It's his signature sneer, that one lip curl thing he did. Next up is Fall Out Boy, which is a band I almost forgot on this list. Had some crazy stuff over the years. They were the, the aforementioned um, bath bombs. They had bath bombs when Mania came out. And if you use the bath bomb in the middle of the bath bomb, once it melted down in the water, was a download card for the album, which was rad. Um, however, though, they also had 
a couple toys series is, 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 is throughout the years, uh, including this first one, which I would be really awesome to find, have somewhere. Itter, it's itter, it's talking plushies. That's right, talking plushies from the band, four or five inches tall, something like that, complete with four catchphrases each. I don't know what the hell they say, uh, but each of them are different, unique uh, to the person. Um, the Andy, Joe, uh, Pete, and Pat. That would have been really cool to have. It looks just like the band. And I just, I found them online, but I can't find them to buy them anywhere. Speaking of can't find them to buy them, uh, is another collection that came out when I think Infinity on High dropped. I want to say it's around that era. Uh, it was made by Soda, S-O-T-A. Six inch Fall Out Boy collections. And what was cool about this, it wasn't just like a six inch action figure that looked like the band. Uh, there was also a chance that one, only one person, one of the random boxes that you would have gotten um, had a golden ticket in it. And the golden ticket uh, would be good for a Fall Out Boy concert, including round trip airfare for two, a hotel stay, two concert tickets, two backstage passes to meet Fall Out Boy um, at a designated time and date, which was totally awesome because you're just, you're buying an action figure and you could potentially meet the band. Let's face it, if you're buying the action figure, you're already a fan. If you know, or if you're the one, let me know down below. I am looking for these online as well, so if you know where the hell to find them. If you're not, um, I think one was $75. Um, you can buy the four pack for 600 And last but not least is My Chemical Romance. Um, My Chemical Romance, first up, uh, there are tons of Funko Pop variants of Gerard Way. Uh, you have the, the Black Parade, you have Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, there's an Umbrella Academy inspired one where he has like a mask uh, and, and, a, and a couple more. I've seen those. I still see those around. But the ones that I don't see around are little blind boxes. They're made by a company called Titan. And Titan Company dropped uh, a limited series of blind bag toys that had My Chemical Romance in them. And you can get any one from... Uh, there are a bunch of different variants of the different band members. You could have from the Black Parade. Uh, you could find them... From Three Cheers, there was just a regular old touring version of them where they were like plain clothes and they didn't wear outfits. Uh, they're really hard to find. Uh, another one, speaking of really hard to find, is through Seg Toys. And uh, they're not a stock series uh, that ha are about a 7-inch figure that go anywhere between $50 and $250 per figure. <laughs> That's what they are on eBay, and it's of the whole entire band. Those look really cool, by the way. Also, looking for those ones. Anyway, guys, that's my list. Uh, it's crazy how you can still buy some of the stuff online today. And if it isn't online, if you're good at thrifting and you hit up your local toy slash comic convention, you're bound to stumble across something really cool. I always say, if it sounds like a cool thing, probably buy it. Because you never know when it could spike, uh, it could go out of stock, or the band could break up and that thing you really wanted is now out of stock and it's $250 on eBay for just one action figure. Speaking of all that shopping and stuff, let's roll the credits. I talk about the Pop Punk Dad Shop, which is my shop, and a whole lot more things uh, in, in the credit roll. So let's, later, bye. Hey guys, we're at that part of the video where you should like and subscribe. And after the video is over, comment on some stuff. What did you like, what did you not like, what should I do next? Something like that. There's more to this channel than just the whole YouTube thing. I post daily blogs on thepoppunkdad.com, which features daily reviews and interviews from awesome bands from around the globe. Head on over to the Pop Punk Dad merch shop where you can find cool things like that right there. It helps the channel out and it lets me know that you love me. I have a weekly podcast called the Pop Punk Dad Cast, which is on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes. Please subscribe. And hey, while you're at it, after this video, cruise on around and check out other content that tickles your fancy. Interviews with awesome bands, vlogs, cover songs, and more. You can check out all my socials, my IG, my FB, my Snapchat, and my Twitter, at the Pop Punk Dad. And above all else, guys, stay pop punk. Later.